Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th. Okay, so we're gonna see what comes up for the 10th or thereabouts. So, right around the 10th, timing is always fluid. So, what do we got? Two of Wands, a choice, a decision to stay or to go at a crossroads. So somebody is, it's almost like there's, there's an angel saying something, do it, do it, do it. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody is being told to focus on the future, let go of the past. We have an individual that is very discontent, wondering if they're making the right decision. But there is some sort of divine guidance here. See what's in the background. Mm. This is a judgment call of some sort. Somebody needs to make a judgment call. You know, says so this this guy in the background. Has, it looks like he has a trumpet in his hand. You'll see it in a minute. As soon as I get that to clear up. Yeah, so it looks like it's a, it's a trumpet of some sort. So that's a judgment. I feel like we have an individual that is needing to make a judgment call. There's some sort of guidance. Um, I mean, this person seems to be a little discontent, you know? Uh, yeah. So unsure. There's, there's a, you know, is this the right decision? Is it? Is it the right decision? I mean, take a look at her face. She's, she seems a very you know, unsure of the path ahead. Is this the right decision? Should focus any minute. There we go. Too much in the background here. Two of Wands, needing to make a decision. It doesn't look like it is an easy one. Ooh, the Emperor. Now the emperor is a position, person in a position of authority, somebody that's, that is in a uh, leadership role. Okay, this is somebody who has a lot of experience, a lot of life experience, a very uh, masculine energy. This could be somebody that is, um, I don't know, could be a father, could be a husband, could be somebody that's in a very professional prof position. This person is in a position that is of status. So this is about uh, taking charge, following the plan. Uh, this person has a lot of expertise. So I feel like we got this person that is worried. This one is very experienced. This emperor is a ruler of some sort. It looks like he is very structured, very organized. He has a plan, you know. He this he's very knowledgeable. So, so we got somebody here that is very very knowledgeable. Very very educated as well. A lot of experience. The sun. The sun reverse. So this is unhappy. Not happy. Somebody's not happy. Um there could be some poor health here with the sun reversed. There could be delusion. You know, there could be some delusionness or delusional. Somebody may be delusional. They may not be seeing something clearly. Hmm. There's lack of clarity here. Or logic. Somebody may not be being logical. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Very uh, devoted, steadfast, sturdy, hardworking, determined. We have a very determined individual. May not be healthy. Somebody's not healthy here. They're not in the best health with that sun reverse. They may not be happy with themselves. Um, but this Queen of Pentacles is, it looks as though she's abundant, she's loyal, 
there's also there's an, an individual that is uh, very interested in helping this Queen of Pentacles. By the way, this Queen of Pentacles um, is very very abundant by the looks of things. Somebody is is this person is very experienced, very, I don't know if this is a business owner or so whoever this person is, they're very professional. So this is a professional individual that is looking at the Queen of Pentacles, definitely looking right at this person, but there's some sort of not happiness or poor health or something like that. This Queen of Pentacles seems to be on the edge of her seat. For some reason, she's not sitting back. She's ready to, looks like she's ready to get up and do something. I'm not sure what. She's looking, looking far away. She's looking far out or something like that. Um, she's got something on her mind. So this Queen of Pentacles has something on her mind. She doesn't realize that this individual has a plan, is very knowledgeable, knows exactly what he's doing. So this is a spur of the moment decision. Somebody is being told to do something by the looks of things. And I think this is very similar to yesterday's reading. Maybe it's about having faith and trust. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is all about practical, though. Being practical, being realistic, doing the right thing. You know, wanting to do the right thing. Um <laughs> Knight of Wands. Wow. Act now. Think later. Just do it. Just do it. The energy says just do it. Just do it. Let go of your fear. Somebody, it's like somebody is being whispered in their ear. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You know? So, I mean, that's really what it looks like to me with that Knight of Wands. That's, that's, get that's. Act now, think later, don't don't waste any time. The time is of the essence. Act now. Taking action right now. Somebody is going to be taking action right now. Now, the Queen of Pentacles has a lot to offer. You know? Very stable, very secure, very hardworking, very motherly, uh, down-to-earth, grounded. Um, there's some sort of sadness, though. With that sun card. So somebody is sad. They're sad over something. Somebody could be putting off false impressions. You know what I mean? They're not following their heart. Because the sun is a, a card of heart. And right next to the emperor. The emperor uses their head. Not their heart. Use your heart. Follow your heart. If you're being urged to do something. Do it now. That is the Knight of Wands and the Two of Wands. That's very spur of the moment right now. There could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. Okay. There is, there's a, there's a, well, there's somebody that is waiting. They're waiting, but this, this Queen of Pentacles is waiting. Very independent, very valuable. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles knows her value is valuable. Is the Queen of Value. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Value. She knows her value. So some, you know, we have a we have a we have a very strong masculine energy that is looking at this Queen of Pentacles, and it's like they're being told to do something. They're do it now, do it now, whatever that means. Um, driving, I don't know, driving, going somewhere maybe. Queen of Swords reversed right next to the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. Whoever this masculine energy is, he's scared. He's scared of this, this person. This person is probably everything that they want, but very intimidating. The Queen of Swords is harsh. Okay. In reverse, she's harsh. She's brash. She's assertive. Um, she's critical. She's a perfectionist. You know, she's uh, doesn't play any games whatsoever. Um, it could be fear of rejection. Um, <laughs> Queen of Swords reversed. 
very, very cold. There's some sort of severeness. So somebody may be afraid. They may be afraid to take action. They want to take action, but they're afraid to take action for fear of the repercussions. So it looks like to me. There could also be a choice. There could be a choice between two people. Somebody may not be happy with one, and but it's stable. You know, it's secure. And they're, they're thinking about both. There is two. Okay, there's two people. There's two options here. There is two with the two of wands, no matter what. Okay, there's two options here. I think we have a very strong individual that is in the process of making a choice. You know, which path they want to go down. Do they want to... They want to stay where it's safe, you know, and it's not happy. Or they want to face their fears and confront this other person that is more, you know, authentic, more alluring, more exciting, you know. I feel like that that's what the choice is. The choice is, you know, uh, between two people. Um, we do have somebody that is about to take action, I do believe. They are being told to. They're, be, they're hearing it very clearly. You know, they're hearing it in that ear. You know, be, it's like it's being whispered in their ear. You know, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Um, but I feel like this individual um, is uh, not wanting to cause chaos. You know, wanting to keep things structured. Wanting to keep, wanting to keep things organized. So that's why they're not really uh, doing anything as of yet. Now there is, and I'm going to change this up, this could be a wicked stepmother, okay? This could be a stepmother, a mother-in-law that is that is um, causing problems, okay? Somebody may be causing problems. They may be whispering in somebody's ears, lying, saying things they shouldn't be saying because the Queen of Swords in reverse can be an individual that plays mind games. This person um, is manipulative, a troublemaker, you know, very hateful. So we could have some jealousy here. We, I'm changing the story again. We may have a very jealous individual, somebody that is jealous of this of the of this Queen of Pentacles, and it could be a stepmother, it could be this person's wife, or something like that. It doesn't have to be. Um, this could be even job related. It could be job related. But anyhow, there's some definitely some challenges. There's some opposition. I feel like there somebody is in a situation where there's not a lot of happiness. There's there's it's struggle. It's it's a struggle. And I think that somebody has to make a choice. They probably have to choose between two. They have to choose between two, and they're put in the middle of the whole situation. It may be between a child, because this, this, this is like children. You know, maybe there's three or four children, and somebody may be put in a position where, where they need to choose between children and, you know, a wife or something, or an ex-wife or a husband or something like that. Um, there's definitely two options here, and I think that we have an individual that is... Um, hearing some sort of message okay that's telling them you know you gotta go you gotta go down this other path you you do you have to leave this behind you gotta leave this because remember i showed you that thing is in the past something's laying down getting ready to let go of something in the past so somebody needs to let go of something and go down a new path and they've been reluctant to do so because I think it's fear. I think I think it's fear. I feel, I think it's fear of rejection. Um, but I do think that there's action that is going to be taken because of that Knight of Wands. That is an entrance of some sort. Somebody taking action. You know. Um, Knight of Cups. Absolutely. So somebody is is going to be following their heart, expressing their feelings, going after love, looking for love, looking for something more emotionally fulfilling. Um, I do feel like we have a masculine energy that is going, and it's a masculine energy, so I don't care what you think, is going to be acting on their feelings. And I think there's going to be reciprocation. I do think there's going to be reciprocation. I feel like somebody's gut... And, and more than just gut, they're hearing, they're literally hearing messages saying, you gotta, you gotta go do this. You gotta go do this right now. Um, there could be an admirer here. There could be an admirer that is coming in. This person has been reluctant to 
arrived. They've been really reluctant to express their feelings or, or express their admiration or whatever. But I feel like there is definitely somebody that was holding themselves back, trying to be proper as well, trying to refrain themselves almost, you know. But I feel like they, there's, and there's also been a, a nasty individual that has been preventing them from doing so. So there's been like a bitch here that has been preventing them from following their heart. I feel like this person is going to follow their heart. They're going to take action, whatever way that is. They've been, they have, uh, they're at that crossroads where it's time. It's time with that two of wands. Okay. It's a decision. There, somebody could be suddenly leaving. You know, that's what it looks like. They're suddenly leaving. You know, they're suddenly leaving a nasty individual for somebody that is more stable, more solid, more secure, more abundant. I think there's an offer coming in for some of you with a Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands. It's a passionate, loving offer. Okay, somebody really cares as well. This is this is this is care. This is passion. Showing support. Somebody is going to be showing support. We have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries. We have Leo. So we have Sagittarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Leo again. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. So. We have a very abundant individual who has no idea. You look at this person. This person is totally looking in the other direction. Ha is totally has no idea that uh, somebody is uh, planning something by the looks of it. Some by the looks of it. It looks like somebody is planning something. Now, the emperor is a boss. You know, it's a boss. Could be a father. Um, business owner. <laughs> there could be, there could be, a, I mean, with the queen of swords reversed, I don't know if there's, there could be a divorce. You know, somebody, there could be an, there could be a separation that is coming up as well. With the Queen of Swords reversed. Huh. So anyway, we're talking about the tenth. The just do it. Just do it. Ace of Pentacles, golden opportunity to go down a new path. This is a yes. Do it. You have an opportunity to go down a path that leads to extreme abundance. This is something you can take to the bank, right? This is something that will last a long, long time. So somebody's being given... There's too much stuff back there. They're being given the opportunity to go down a new path. Just gonna cover it up and bring it back. It's funny because there's too much light. Pisses me off. I messed with the settings yesterday because it was zooming all the time, so I figured I'd fix it. Big mistake. Anyhow, um,. This is going down a path towards abundance, extreme abundance, stability, and security. Golden opportunity for success. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So somebody has an opportunity to go down a path that leads them to extreme abundance. I wish I did. It's not even going to clear up. There we go. 
things clear up. Things are going to clear up. Maybe cloudy. And I saw cloudy. It's interesting how things happen with the Queen of Swords reverse. That's clouded, clouded, cloudy. And this is too. So I did, I did sense that there was some cloudiness. There's some, some sort of lack of clarity here. But I feel, I feel like somebody is going to be, they're going to get a golden opportunity to, uh, uh, I mean, that Queen of Pentacles as well. She has an Ace of Pentacles as well. So this is, this is a golden opportunity for success, love, passion, getting what you asked for. Somebody has manifested some sort of I don't know, decision to go in their favor. Something is going to go in their favor to be chosen, you know. Somebody may be getting a gift as well. It's a surprise. It is absolutely a surprise. Um, an offer or an invite, I believe, is coming or it's just good news. Or it's an expressing expression of feelings. Or somebody's going to be getting an offer that leads. It could be, I don't know, maybe it's a new home. It could be a new home with that Ace of Pentacles. This new home, this new place, this new path will bring you some sort of exciting new love opportunity with a well with a king of all kings so anyhow just do it you're on the right path leave the past behind stand in your power Good luck.